I love you guys, appreciate you. You are my family. See ya. Have a flammable day. <laughs>
we're going to end up with something nicer. 1 over 2 times i, natural log of and now x plus i over x minus i. So that looks way friendlier. And now we can just add those two expressions together. And the first case is just when x is exactly greater than 0. Equal to 0, we are going to talk about this in the end. So that also means that we now have this plus this right here. And this is going to be 1 over 2 times i, natural log of 1 plus i times x over 1 minus i times x. And then plus 1 over 2 times i, natural log of x plus i, x minus i. And I hope you can see this, but we can factor out this 1 over 2 times i on both terms. Let's put it that way. And you see, we can now use the natural log property to turn this addition right here into the multiplication of the arguments. So we end up with 1 over 2 times i. Natural log of, and now we have 1 plus i times x over 1 negative i times x times x plus i over x negative i. And now we can just, well, multiply everything together, numerator and denominator. So 1 over 2 times i, natural log of, at first we have x plus i, and then we have plus i times x squared, and in the end, negative x in this case. So this and that is going to cancel out exactly, that's quite nice. Over and now we have x, negative i, and then we have uh, negative i times x squared, and positive x. Uh, negative x. I'm sorry, you see, i times i, negative 1, blah, blah, blah. This and that is going to cancel out, so we end up with 1 over 2 times i, natural log of, and now we have um, i plus i times x squared over negative i. I'm going to factor out this negative 1 on both terms, so negative i plus i times x squared. And you see, this and that is going to cancel out, and we are going to exactly end up with 1 over 2 times i, natural log of negative 1. And the good thing is, we are dealing with the principal log right here, the principal branch of the complex logarithm. So we want to find out what negative 1, the natural log of negative 1 actually is. So let's take a look at the complex plane. You guys know what complex numbers look like. Complex number z is nothing but r, the radius of the vector you could say, e times uh, e to the i phi. And well, if we take a look at negative 1, it's right here. Well, we can just start at this spot, go here, and our angle phi right here is nothing but pi over 2. No, it's pi in this case. It's, it's just pi. I'm terribly sorry. So this is going to evaluate to pi in this case. And well, we are on the unit circle. That means our r is nothing but 1. So this r is equal to 1. And well, that means our negative 1, our complex number, is nothing but e to the i times pi. You should know this identity. Euler's formula, Euler's identity. And well, now we can take the natural log on both sides. Natural log, or you can put it that way, this log with the capital L of negative 1, not absolute values, it's just parentheses, being equal to the log of e to the i times pi. Well, this and that is going to cancel out. We end up with i times pi. So you see, natural log of negative 1, principal branch, is nothing but 1 over 2 times i, i times pi, this and that is going to cancel out. It's just pi over 2. So the first case is done, now for the next case. This next case, x being less than 0, is actually quite easy. Because if you take a look, if x is greater than 0, if we multiply both sides by negative 1, that also means that negative x is less than 0 in that case. Let's put it that way, just for simplification purposes. Okay, cool, but how does that help? Well, I would like to derive a little identity, namely that the inverse tangent of negative x is nothing but negative the inverse tangent of x. If we can make use of that, you see we can just take our result from before, bring the negative 1 to the outside, and we end up with negative pi over 2. But is this right here the case? Well, it is. I wouldn't use it if it weren't. So why not just plug negative x into here and see what we get? That means the inverse tangent of negative x is nothing but 1 over 2 times i, the natural log of, and now we have 1 negative i times x over 1 plus i times x. And, well, you see, 
we would be back at our inverse tension of x if we would just take the negative one power right here. So you see we can turn this around, this fraction, changing the numerator and denominator, if we just have the natural log of 1 plus i times x over 1 negative i times x, but this whole thing to the negative one power. And well, by the rules of the logarithm, we can bring this negative one power to the outside and just bring a negative sign to the front. So we have found out this identity, negative inverse tangent of x. And well, just by the arguments before, we now know that our inverse tangent of negative x plus our inverse tangent of negative 1 over x is nothing but, well, using this property, we end up with negative the inverse tangent of x plus the inverse tangent of 1 over x. And this is exactly a negative pi over 2. And now for the last case. So for this last case, when x is equal to 0, I would just like to take the limit of this thing when x approaches 0. And you can trust me on that. If you approach it from the left side and the right side, it's going to be the same limit in the end. I don't want to overcomplicate things. So let's just go through the process and see what we get. So now we take the limit as x approaches 0 of this chunk right here. Inverse tangent of x plus inverse tangent of 1 over x being equal to, well, we have derived this before, this limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 2 times i. Now we have the natural log of 1 plus i times x over 1 negative i times x. And then we have x plus i, uh, yeah, x plus i over x negative i. And well, the good thing is we are on an interval where our inverse tension is indeed continuous. So that means our natural log is continuous right here. So we can bring this limit to the inside and just apply it directly to those x's right here. And we are going to end up with 1 over 2 times i times the natural log of, well, this goes to zero, this, well, this makes just one, and this right here goes to zero, this also, so we end up with i over negative i, well, this is just negative one, and, well, natural log of negative one is i times pi, this cancelling out is just pi over two, and then we are done, all the cases considered. I thank you guys for watching. <gasps> I'm out of breath already, but the weather is nice and cold here once again. So that's quite cool. It's way better than being fucking hot here in Germany. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. And if you want to get this t-shirt right here and many other t-shirts, just take a look into the description. There will all be, also be a link to my Teespring shop. Never mind. I love you guys. Appreciate you. You are my family. See ya. Have a flammable day. There's a motherfucking raccoon up there.